योग कर्मसु कौशल हेलो फ्रेंड इन दिस सेशन विल सी हाउ टू वर्क ऑन हेडर एंड फुटर हाउ डू वी एड डेट एंड टाइम हाउ डू वी एड सम पिक्चर्स some documents information options and how we changing the position of the text let us see one by one now first of all what is the use of header and footer so we can create header and footers in microsoft word that repeat the same text at the top or bottom of each page for example if we are typing the minutes of a exam meeting then we may want to put examination name in the header so that it appears across the top of the page every document has a header and footer area which are both empty by default layout print layout contains full page reading view contains and web layout view also contains this header and footer so now see how we work step by step so in this our word documents in insert sub menu this header and footer page area is available actually header and footer sub menu is available in this sub menu three different sub menus available header footer and page number by default also we can select header and footer without selecting that sub menu by default or we can say that directly also we can choose or select menus just click on this double click on this print area and we can select our header and footer here when we select header and footer at that time you just see that in our ribbon area this design view is open related to header and footer and we can handle all these thing now here is header area is available and here is you see in bottom at the bottom here footer area is available at the top header area is available this margin is header area and at the bottom footer area is available now we select this header as we know that header is the top of area so that we provide some basics informations related to this for example here we select this area here and here we provide exam details for example here we write university and semester exam now here is the header now in footer if this footer area if we want to add something new thing or we can say that if we want to add page number or anything else then here we choose this footer area and here we edit this thing now here we can add many things to here here page number option is available now there are different ways available to display our page number if we want to display our page top of the page then we use this section if we want to use bottom of the page then we use this section if we want to use page margin then we use this option in current positions if we want to provide then we can use this and format page number if we want to format our page number then we can use this here specify that different format available 1 2 3 is simple format days 1 days 2 this three format available for example here we choose this and here in chapter number also we want to include then we provide this here page numbering options available continue from previous sections and start at if we want to start from different page then we can provide page number in this way now here we add bottom of the page and we provide this page number so that here this thing is provided now date and time available if we want to insert date and time in this then here we first of all check this thing and 
then we insert date and time here here when we select date and time options at that time different date and time options available different format of date and time available we select as per our need here for example we choose this option this is the best option so that either we choose this one or we choose this one so that here this option is available now select this with the help of spacing and we provide this thing as here we insert this thing page number and all this is given here university and exam is given now we write something to write something we use random functions here random functions we write and we provide some content here you see if our content goes to second page then how this header and footer contains value in second page also and here header contains university and exam and our footer contains page number 2 and sunday july 2020 so that here we add this thing now in this if we want to add picture so how we add this picture in header and footer part then that also thing is possible we can add here picture we select this picture option in this picture option we choose this first option and then we select any one picture here now we insert this picture here and this picture size is very big so that we crop this picture size so that using these options we can handle this thing here we set this thing here if we want to change position of our pictures then here we look this position where is it now we select this we mention exit position here now here you see how it looks here page number 2 we add our picture in page number 1 also we add picture and it looks like this way if we want to add our header informations then also that thing is possible we can add here anything here also we can add picture or clip art and we can use this thing if we want to go to footer area directly from here then we can add to this we can select this footer area if we want to directly go to header area then we select this and we reach to here now if we want to add other thing in footer area then here we select this thing and here if we want to select timing of this then here we choose this timing now here this footer area contains examination name as well as timing also here so here you see this timing area so here we provide timing also so when we open this document it display with time as well as date so here in this way we use this header and footer area if we want to add clip art here then we can add clip art also as inbuilt clip arts available we can use this clip art here 
we select this clip part organize first we select organize clip area then we use this office collections now in academics we choose now which type of clip parts we want to add that we can also directly add here in this area and we just copy here and we paste this clip arts in this area here you see how it looks now i resize this this clip art and i change its position here you see how it looks now i can move this here we add our clip art now if we want to border our clip art then here using this way we can border if we want to provide shadow effects then here we choose this any one shadow effect here if we want to change our shape then here we use this options and we can change our picture shape here you can see how this picture looks differently here align to margin is available align to middle if we select align to middle then how it looks that we check here we can change and align to margin is available so based on our requirement we can if we want to align it center then here it display align left then here it display here also we can set this thing here if we want to edit this thing then here we provide this thing and we can handle this thing so this way we can add clip art also now in this if we want to provide here also if we want to change shape and uh, change picture and provide shape then also that thing is possible here using this way we can change our shape of this as well as we can change border color also here it looks like this way if we want to change shadow of this then also that thing is possible here align to margin is already given so no need to set this thing so in this way we can provide all this thing if we want to wrap our text then also that thing is possible and we can provide this thing so in this way we use clipboard as well as images and we set this thing here timing is also given that we mention specify if we do not want to use this timing then just remove it no need to mention this thing now using this way we can handle all this thing if we want to remove header or footer then using remove header or remove footer options we can remove header or footer now here how much space is occupied for header and how much space is occupied by footer from bottom that is available if we want to add more space then using this way we can add here so that here you just check how we 
provide this way more space to hear. Here we can change this thing and we can provide this thing. So this is where how we use header and footer. If we want to remove then from here, we can remove header or remove footer. If we want to edit then here from edit header or footer, we can select this thing and we can edit specific footer area as well as header area. So this way we handle our header and footer. Thank you. I would like to thank the resource person of today for his highly scholarly deliberation. Friends, after all, we provide a platform for discussion. We provide a platform for such, a, such an endeavor where resource persons can come and they can have some topics, they can have some issues, they can have some ideas, and we all together can discuss on those ideas. It's to make you aware about various issues and various ideas related to higher education. After all, unka purpose ye hai ki aap logo ke man mein kuch bhavanaye jagayen, kuch aise issues bahar lane ki koshish karein, jo aapke dimag mein hai, aur aapke dimag mein kuch aise issues ko aur, aur baato ko dalen, ki jiske upar aap sochne ke liye majboor ho jaye. After all, it is the purpose of a resource person session that he should imbibe some ideas in your mind on which you have to think. He may compel you to think on some ideas and issues. And I'm very happy that the resource person of today has succeeded in doing that. And I'm very happy that the resource person of today has succeeded in doing that. And I'm very happy that the resource person of today has succeeded in doing that. And I'm very happy that the resource person of today has succeeded in doing that. He has created many questions in your minds. He, he, he raised many issues, he raised many doubts in your minds. After all, that is the purpose. वही तो हमारा मूलतः प्रयोजन है कि आप लोग ज्यादा सोचें इस इश्यू के पर ज्यादा विचारें ज्यादा पढ़ें ज्यादा रिसर्च करें एंड अल्टीमेटली यू शुड रीच विथ कॉन्क्रीट टू योर स्टूडेंट्स द पर्पस ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ सेशंस अगेन इज दैट यू शुड रीड मोर ऑन सच टॉपिक्स यू यू शुड बी कंपेल्ड टू रीड मोर ऑन सच टॉपिक्स यू मे बी मोटिवेटेड टू वर्क ऑन सच टॉपिक्स you should be motivated to work on this topics maybe for research or maybe for experimentation you are motivated to read more acquire more knowledge and ultimately this knowledge this research these ideas whatever was delivered whatever you have thought should reach to the future of india and that is our students i would like to thank the resource person on behalf of all of you all the viewers and all the participants i would like to thank the resource person on behalf of UGC Human Resource Development Center of Gujarat University, Ahmedabad, on behalf of Gujarat University, UGC and MHRD. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to the resource person on behalf of all those who directly or indirectly work for the success of this series and sessions. Thank you very much.